Good morning, I'm Gary Clardy, and I'm here at the Clardy Guitar Shop today with a continuing series Beard Resonator Guitar Kit Construction. Well, <coughs> excuse me, it's time to go into the finishing mode. <coughs> So what I've done is I've taped off all the binding, I've taped off the areas that I don't want to get stained, I've put in some foam here to keep the inside of this clean, and what I want to do now is mix up a yellow, amber, orange kind of color to put down our base stain on this resonator guitar and then once that's dry I'll come back and put a brown dark brown tone on around it for a highlight area and uh, once that's set up then I'll go in was the UV sealer that goes on top of it. And uh, <clears throat> for those of you who don't understand the uh, ultraviolet light process of curing, I'm going to take this small camera and go back and show you my setup. So let's head back to the paint booth and take a look. We'll walk back here. First of all, I'd like to just see that uh, during this UV, use, use of the UV cure, the light is very bright, so you need plenty of protection. So I put on this shirt, and I also put on this uh, respirator up here, this filter. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and we'll go in the room in just a minute, but I want to come back here and show you where I mix my paint and uh, stain. This is the UV um, cure finish system here. There's a UV cure insulator sealer for uh, oily wood. Then I come over here to a wipe on gel filler. And then back here you have the wet look top coat. Today we're going to be mixing up a combination of stain to get to this yellow amber. I have uh, some bright red. I have amber additive. I have a little bit of black, and I have a medium brown, and a mahogany. And this will be enough stain, transtent, to uh, stain this entire guitar and do all the, the two different tones that I want on it. Um, I, if you look over here, I have a uh, few nice paint guns. I'm hanging up here and uh, I'm going to use this little cheap one for the stain today because it, I can get a small pattern on it and uh, the isopropyl alcohol works <clears throat> for the UV cure uh, for a thinner for a mixer um, so I, what I did is I just went to CVS and Walmart, <clears throat> excuse me, and bought a copy. I mean, I bought some bottles of this. So, <clears throat> excuse me, my uh, throat's a little froggy here this morning. Been up since about 4 o'clock. We'll go into the paint room. 
first of all coming in here I have uh, my air coming up with a filter on it you can see on the wall where I've tried <laughs> different stains over here I have a door trap door that I can open up to the outside to pull the fumes out and we'll go back around here and overhead I have an exhaust fan that actually pulls air in and the air coming in gives me a positive pressure inside the room all the time so it doesn't suck the dust out uh, into the room. I have a little heater down here that I turn on sometimes it's sparkless uh, to dry the air out and to help dry faster. Now in the UV finishing I protect my eyes so I have a welding helmet here that I use. I have some welding gloves that I protect my hands with and I even have an extra layer of a old t-shirt or sweatshirt cut out that I use on my left hand because I did manage to burn my arm pretty good one time by overexposure to the UV light. This is the light. Uh, it comes from Port Array. It's the 400R and uh, we'll turn that on when we get ready. Uh, to cure the UV will uh, the UV cure finish and just uh, scan kind of scan the area that we're wanting to set up now uh, the light is so bright in here that I will not be able to uh, do any filming while I'm in the spraying process so right now we're going back out, we're going to mix the uh, first yellow looking coat, an amber coat of uh, stain. So let's go get that mixed. Okay, I'm back from the tour and I have taken some isopropyl alcohol and uh, I put some amber uh, dye additive in here. I put a <clears throat> couple of drops of red in here with it also. So that should give us close to the color I'm looking for. And also, I just wanted to mention that the hole that I drilled for screwing in the tailpiece and the uh, strap knob, I put a little eye hook in to uh, so I can hang this guitar up. So with that said, we're going to go in and shoot a little coat of amber stain. Okay, this is what the guitar is starting to look like with the yellow amber stain on it. See the contrast, and I have a really, really 
ugly blue spot right there. I've got to get that off. I don't know how I missed that, but I did. And it's always best to just stop that and do it. Here's the side view. This will have to kind of be reshot again. But you can see how this is coming along. And then, of course, the neck, I want it all kind of dark brown. get to that as soon as I get this ugly blue spot cleaned off. This is the first one of these on bird plywood I've ever done, so it's not pulling the stain in exactly the way I think it should, but I think it's going to work. One thing I did fail to mention was stuffing this with foam to keep the uh, paint out of the inside of it, so the stain. So there we go. I'm going to go work on the ugly glue. Okay, let's look at it here. Looking pretty good. Okay. That's what it looked like. Okay, we're going to go out now and uh, pull the tape off of it and clean everything up if we don't happen to see any more glue spot. So. Here we, go. Here we are back from the paint booth and we've got the staining done, kind of a sunburst pattern on this with a dark neck. So the next step is to pull the binding tape off. So I can clean this binding up. And along with cleaning it up, I'm also going to um, put a little amber stain on it to give it a kind of a vintage look. coming together and I've got a I guess get that off of the neck and get that cleaned up also um, so just start wherever I can here up on this end by the headstock. We'll have to retake the fretboard back. Once I get this cleaned up, We'll be putting the finish to this. So I've got a razor blade and I'm just going to grip it so that it'll be about the depth of the binding. 
Once I get all the way around that, I'll come back with some sandpaper and clean it up. Cleaning up pretty good. So, as I clean this up, okay, I'm going to continue to clean this and then I will see you in the next video. with ready to put some sealer on this thing and start the finishing. Start the top coats. Thanks for joining me on this. This is Gary Clarty and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.